According to Young's wave theory, this pattern created by a single slit is impossible. Welcome back to the Quantum Lab. I am Joseph Studi. Famous physicist Richard Feynman is quoted as saying, If you think you understand quantum mechanics, you do not understand quantum mechanics. Perhaps the lack of understanding is caused by misleading videos on social media. A good example is a well-crafted, very persuasive video by Veritasium. They try to explain Thomas Young's wave theory. This video has been watched almost 10 million times and has 216,000 likes, the most of any video on the subject. Here's what they have to say. But if light's behaving as waves, then the wave from one slit can interact with the waves from the other slit. I've got a demonstration here on a little pond where we can see this with water waves. I have two sources of ripples, which are basically like the two slits. When I create ripples with a single source, they travel out with circular wave fronts. Nothing particularly surprising there. But if I add a second source of ripples, then we start getting an interesting pattern. I see why the video is so popular. They do an excellent job of explaining why you need two slits to create an interference pattern. I will present a single slit laser experiment that shows you do not need two slits, only one. Anyone with a cheap low power laser and two small pieces of paper can prove Veritasium is wrong. The setup is simple by design. Anyone can do this experiment. I tape two pieces of paper 0.5 millimeters apart to a jello box found in the Quantum Lab break room. Remember your safety glasses. Let's go lights out. Aim the laser at the center of the single slit and you will see a light dark pattern exactly like a double slit pattern. That's impossible. According to Veritasium's video, what you are looking at cannot happen with only one slit. Let's create a double slit pattern for comparison. Like the last setup, grab two pieces of paper, another jello box, and a 0.5 millimeter pencil lead. First, tape the pencil lead to the box. Then, attach the two pieces of paper 3.5 millimeters apart. Aim the laser at the pencil lead. Adjust the jello box until the beam is split into two equal parts. As you can see, the two patterns are nearly identical. Two slits are not needed to create a light dark pattern. Another false claim about the light dark pattern is made later in the video. The presenter it says, there. It's light canceling itself out. Light canceling itself out can easily be discredited. The statement sounded correct until I experimented with two laser beams. Huh. Imagine my surprise when there was no interaction between the two beams. Watching the pond demo reminded me of watching a magic trick. Our attention is misdirected to how water molecules interact. We are never told photons do not interact because they lack electrical charge. Millions of people have watched this pond demonstration. Comments from viewers indicate they accept the video's results as scientifically proven. As you saw in my laser experiments, their explanation cannot possibly be correct. 
I'm not surprised people are confused by quantum mechanics. Veritasium's explanation applies to water waves, not light. Demonstrations using water waves should be preceded by this warning. The opinions presented are not supported by light experiments. Veritasium used water waves to validate their two claims about light. Claim number one, they say it takes light from two slits to create an interference pattern. I countered that claim with my single slit laser experiment. The single slit pattern looks just like the double slit pattern. Claim number two, they say light cancels itself out. Using two lasers, anyone can see photons do not interact with each other. Two claims easily proven wrong. Should Veritasium withdraw their misleading video? Please comment below. If you'd like to see more experiments debunking Young's wave theory, visit jsquantumlab.com. Hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see future videos.